Hey guys, it's CRT Jer, and I'm bringing you another crappy domination video where my KDR is in the negatives, which I am okay with. And I wanted to discuss uh, domination game type from a public perspective. And this means that you are not with your buddies, right? And you don't have a, a team that can actually work together and communicate and listen to each other on mic. So I've been trying to figure out, you know, what the best strategies are in this kind of situation. Because in a public match, it seems like it's split 50-50. On, um, in terms of like, I'm sorry, in terms of, uh, you know, whether or not people are actually going to do the mission, aka capture the objective points, or if they're going to, you know, just run around and try and kill people. And, you know, there are two roles, right? You should have uh, a support system that is trying to kill the people going to a particular point, and then you have some other people trying to actually capture that point. Um, but it seems like in public matches, there's a majority of people wanting to just go and kill other people. Um, I don't understand, you know, why you would want to play Domination if that was what you wanted to do, but there are times where, you know, 90% of your team isn't trying to actually capture the objective, and it can become really frustrating. Um, it definitely makes me angry. Uh, but in general, what I'm thinking is uh, there's a couple different strategies that you can go about here, and I wanted to explore each one. And I don't know, you know, if if they're the best ones or these are just the things that I've been starting to observe after playing for a while now. And uh, it's it's really hard because you know the basic strategy is you want to get um, two points, uh, generally the middle or B, and then A or C on either side, and then you want to kind of like lock down that last checkpoint that you don't have that the opposing team has and that's where they spawn and that's pretty much always been the case if you push too hard on that um, point they will spawn you know in a different area which is fine but if you keep your distance but still lock off that area um, meaning you lock off that point from B then you know, generally you guys can keep the the two points and, you know, get the full match points and win the match. And that's been the basic strategy. And I think it's, you know, that's pretty much what you have to do. But that goal never seems to get hit in public matches. Unless you're with a group of people um, who know what they're doing. And usually it's a group of people with all the clan, same clan tag or, you know, people who are friends in parties. Uh, so, I'm trying to figure out a better way to deal with public matches because I still like playing domination because it helps me get practice for when I actually play with my friends and it makes me think about all the stupid mistakes I make um, and kind of also to what guns I should use what combinations um, like here in carrier I'm using a submachine gun which I thought about later is probably not the best idea because there's a big you know open gap between the spawn points and it'd be better to have a long range gun um, and stay far further back and help with support. But there are two types of people in this match. There's people who will try to capture the objective, and then there's people who will try to help defend the objective or work on the KDR. I would say that 90% of the time people are more concerned about their KDR and domination than um, actually capturing the points. I do not know why. I don't know if it's because you die a lot when you try to capture the points, or you know, you get a little bit more action, a little more, you know, kind of a terrible freaking gunfight right there. Um, so, what I've been thinking is, there's a couple of different things, and one is, you're put in these scenarios, right, where you're the only person trying to capture the point, and by only person, I mean, the majority of the time, it's like you and, like, maybe <clears throat> another guy, or maybe, like, two other guys, but... You know, you're not really all hitting it at the same time. You're not synchronized, and you know, it's like one of you goes in, and then another one dies. Another one goes in, and another one dies. And you don't, you know, sync up your things. Even if you're on mic, you know, usually people won't listen to you in a public match. I mean, it's just the nature of the game. So, what I've found is that, you know, if people are going to go on the KDR killing spree, what you have to try and do is be that guy to try and capture those points. And 
It doesn't matter necessarily what points you capture, it's just that you're capturing some points for your team and getting more points. Um, I think people start to realize that, you know, the objective is you need to capture these points and they'll, they'll start to support you a little bit if they see you're the guy who's running in and making those captures. Especially if your captures um, are really high in the lobby and you know, you're the leader right in that area people will try to recognize that it seems and they'll help you out um, another scenario that i've run into is where the other team is really good and they actually cap you on one of your points which is what you're trying to do um, or you cannot get b and it, it's any combination right of people just really guarding b or you know people you know, sniping on B, waiting for people to walk in, and uh, they're actively guarding it. So what I generally do is I run completely around the map, and I don't go down the middle, I go off to the side and around the edge, and I go to the other cap point. And if they have, say, A and B, and, you know, you cannot get B, then run around and go to A, and then try and cap A, because it will... Yes, you'll bring the people spawning into B, which is usually generally good because B has an, a more open space, right? This scenario is harder to defend, but there's more um, room, and usually B has a lot of different, um, or a lot of areas that don't have coverage. And this can be good if you get the people spawning in the middle, you know, for a little bit. You can kill them off and then cap B, and then they can go ahead and they'll cap. Um, you know, A or C, because you've already pushed them out in B once you've um, gone into their area and tried to kill a couple of the guys. So I found that that, that seriously is the best strategy for the public match. Um, it usually offsets the, um, the balance a little bit, and it seems to work pretty well, especially if you don't have your buddies with you. So on that note, I'm out of time on this video, even though it's kind of long. Um, you know, let me go. Let me know what you guys have in terms of strategies, and um, we'll see you later.